What is good, y'all? It's NWA here, Nurse Pat. Finally got to editing part two of the workout to eat series. If you haven't seen the first part, definitely check that out. Been going on a ton of trips, enjoying my summer as well as prepping for the new house. So this video basically covers week four, five, and six of Jeff Nippard's Power Building 3.0 program. Probably gonna have a similar format, starting off with some lifting footage and food and meal prep related stuff. And then physique updates at the end. This program is a ton of emphasis on the big three, so to be honest, it's low-key bland on exercise variety and variations. I just change things up sometimes on the accessory lifts. So you're just gonna see me doing a bunch of squat, bench, and deadlift, basically. Thankfully, since it's kind of early in the cut, I don't feel too much decrease in strength, especially since it's a slow cut. You really feel that towards the end of the cut when your calories are more reduced and you've lost some body weight. I've been getting more rest days in between sessions, honestly, because personally I was not finding myself recovering fast enough to do five days a week. So this 10 week program is probably more so stretched to 12 weeks. Side hip pain was also persisting, which was also super annoying. So I had to warm up extra and try to rehab that much as possible. And sticking to the RPE ranges as opposed to weight percentages in the program also helped quite a bit because when I was trying to push myself for those different percentages, especially on a cut, and you know, especially when I felt myself having trouble with recovery, that was the best in, in terms of like just being able to last. <laughs> now for the food portion of the video. Here I'm showing you my little grocery outlet haul. I found these Lunchables, and honestly I just, this felt like it was a little throwback, a little nostalgic, so. I'm gonna do something with that. I do get lean ground beef quite a bit, 93% lean, because the uh, protein content is way higher on those. These potatoes are like the mini potatoes, you could just steam them in the microwave, it's all good. They got um, seasoning already, we got chicken breast here. Quest is always a brand I trust in terms of flavor. These protein bars didn't taste too bad. 180 calories, 15 grams of protein is, is all right. Could be better, but it's all right. Got my lactose-free milk. You already know what's up. Got the peppermint gum. Sometimes it helps with appetite as well as keeping the mouth fresh. Then I got some cauliflower here. I like to steam these up, make a little mash. All my carrots. These are different veggies I get. Brussels sprouts, like what I did in the first video. Cucumbers, very low calorie. Love these things. And then sweet mini peppers. If you haven't tried these already, definitely try them. They don't taste like bell peppers or anything. They're, you, they're literally like little fruits. Apples because an apple a day keeps the thoughts away. If she breathes, she's a thought! I usually like cottage cheese because of the casein protein content. It's a slow digesting protein, very high quality, and there's quite a bit of it in those. I usually combine the pineapple and the plain, and then I got some storage bags for my veggies. So here I'm showing another Michael Corey recipe for a lean chicken taquitos. Got my chicken breast here. Then add any salsa. I like Tostitos, so I did that. Then you add some low fat cream cheese, low fat shredded cheese, and a little seasoning with paprika. Mix that bad boy together. And this will be your mixture for your tortillas. I use the plant protein tortillas but you can use flour or corn tortilla whatever you want definitely beats store frozen taquitos tastes more fresh less calories and high protein For my dips I like having nacho cheese and a non-fat plain Greek yogurt non-fat plain Greek yogurt works amazing as a sour cream substitute set them up in the air fryer and spray the outside of the tortillas with cooking spray for extra crisp 
Actually, it's my first time making this recipe, so I didn't know what to expect. Let's give this a try. Ooh, fire. I approve. <laughs> I really wish I had my mic on so you could hear that crunch. Get a little ASMR in there. I had some cottage cheese and watermelon as a protein dessert, basically. Here I'm showing you how I prep up my veggie snack bags for work. Got celery, cucumber, carrots, and sweet mini peppers. Sometimes I add a little cherry tomato. This is an easy meal prep with lean ground beef, eggs and rice. Had a ton of extra eggs that were gonna go bad, so I just hard boiled them. I eat those things like fruit. <laughs> Here comes another meal prep. This is something I made on my own that you gotta try. It's basically steamed cauliflower, plain Greek yogurt, and spinach artichoke dip. I'm also having my usual Brussels sprouts, same as recipe in part one. And these will be my size for these baked chicken breasts. I think I used teriyaki or a soy, soy based sauce here. I kind of forgot, sorry. <laughs> these went fairly well together and are relatively low carb and high protein. Remember those Lunchables that I got? I stacked them, added lean ground beef, and popped them in the air fryer. Game changer. Just showing you all a little Target haul I got here. I saw these. They're basically protein pop tarts. Never had them before, my first time seeing them. I think they'll be pretty good. I really like trying a lot of like protein snacks because people are getting pretty creative nowadays. And we've come a long way in terms of protein snacks. There's just like so much creativity nowadays and things actually taste pretty decent, in my opinion. I'm not super picky with that as long as I'm getting my protein in. <laughs> um, little steep though, there's only four of them in here. About 10 bucks. And we can see the facts calories wise 180 calories per pastry and it's 20 grams of protein not bad I'm not gonna eat them right now I do want to eat them warm get them toasted first I feel like it'll be pretty fire I also got some quest protein chips these are my favorite protein chips honestly I've tried like four different flavors and they've all been pretty good my favorite is this one here the chili lime flavor and also the the taco flavor is pretty good too like you could make your own like protein nachos if you want to super clutch facts on these is per bag is 140 calories but 20 grams of protein so it's around the same amount of calories ish as like usual smaller bags of chips but you got 20 grams of protein tastes pretty good highly recommend but it is a little steep too it's four of them for like pretty much 10 bucks right but you know it is what it is but in terms of you know getting your cravings out the way i think it's worth it you know just getting that just getting that protein in not feeling guilty about snacking especially chips you know like it <laughs> back then when i'd be dieting i would never eat chips because it just wouldn't seem worth it to me to waste those calories but this is this is it <laughs> you know it's always a good time having korean barbecue in la we Korean barbecue just don't miss, man. Highly recommend. Honestly, this is probably one of the worst and sloppiest cuts <laughs> I've ever done because there's just so many things going on in terms of celebrations, little vacations here and there, like it really is hard, but uh, you know, it is what it is, it's not like, it's, it's not that serious, <laughs> but you know, this is kind of a journey right now, um, like I, I worked out yesterday uh, and today, um, but before that there was a pretty much a four day hiatus of not working out. Um, just because I had a celebration. It was like a collaborative birthday thing, you know, early celebration for me and Janny, and then one of my housemates and friends, JR. It was kind of like, you know, a little SoCal trip since it was Memorial Day weekend. So a lot of drinking, eating out, crappy sleep. <laughs> but it was really fun, we had a real good time. We went hiking, we went to a karaoke bar. We went to Universal Studios and just, you know, chilling at the Airbnb. It was a cool time. Like, I wouldn't, I wasn't counting my calories at all. And there's a sanity portion of it, right? Like, 
unless I'm doing a show or like a, a competition or anything, it's it's not that serious. So um, right now, the last couple of days of working out, you know, I did feel relatively weak, but I think throughout the week, just get my gears going again. I'm just overall recovering <laughs> from the weekend, I think it'll be fine. However, next weekend, me and Jenny are celebrating our birthdays, just, just us two. We're going to like the San Diego and Oceanside area. And then a couple weeks after that, I'm going to Connecticut and New York for my brother's residency graduation. As some of you may know, he's, he's a doctor and he's graduating residency, so it's a huge milestone. Um, and I'm sure we're going to be like eating out quite a bit there as well. Um, hopefully the hotels we go to have little gyms. You know, if not, it's just going to be a bunch of bodyweight stuff. I'll br bring some resistance bands and just do what I got to do. Um, I do feel like as time progresses, I, you know, like I said before, I do need extra time uh, to recover. And like those percentages that they have out on the program, especially if you're, you know, trying to lose fat and cut a little bit, it's really, really difficult to, uh, you know, Especially if you're an intermediate slash advanced lifter. If you're, you know, more to newbie games, you could probably do both. Sorry I screwed up and didn't take enough weight scale and physical videos for these weeks. It would have been better to show a little bit more um, progress, I guess. Even though, for the most part, I feel like I look kind of the same. Maybe, if anything, a tad bit leaner. But yeah, this is part two of the video series covering weeks four, five, and six. Part three will be the last one. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit me up with a like and subscribe if you did to support your boy. And as always, stay safe, stay humble. I'm out.